You know, his last name is a legend in any car racing, but our next guest is also becoming a legend in his own right, racing in his 11th Indy 500 this weekend. I'm talking about driver Graham Rahal joins us this morning. It's been a while, Graham. Yeah, How are has. you? Very good, very good. Thank you. We've been reminiscing. Graham grew up in Columbus, Ohio, where I was before down here, and so we had a chance to talk when we were both up there and share our love for Ohio State sports and yep. Blue Jackets. <laughs> Blue Jackets hockey. Exactly, <laughs> which we are a hockey town here, obviously. I know. Things I know. are fun. Probably even bigger now. You uh, know, that, no the, comment. The, the Bulls have been pretty strong <laughs> here lately. We have a lot of fun here, but it's been fun catching up with you. But we got to uh, talk about this, this little race coming up, just a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. So how are you feeling? Let's talk first qualifying. Does that change your strategy a little bit? Well, qualifying certainly didn't go great for us. Um, but does it really change? I don't know. You know, we my, my best ever start at Indy, I started fourth and I finished... 30 whatever I didn't finish my worst ever start was on the same row that I start this year and I finished third and I remember at that time I thought well you know it's going to take me forever to get to the front if we ever get there but what you don't realize is like 500 miles is a long time mm -hmm. and by halfway point in the race we were already leading the race in that year and so as I look you know at where we are today I think that we're going to be perfectly fine um, you know, our pit stops will be really good. We'll make up some spots there. We'll definitely be able to make up some spots on the racetrack. We had our last practice was, was yesterday in, in Indy, and uh, we made some really good gains there and stuff. So I think that we'll be pretty strong. Good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And of course, you know, here we were joking that Tampa is uh, quite the hockey city. Yep. But we also love our Grand Prix in St. Pete, which you love that this I know. year. Yeah, St. Pete's, you know, one of my, I got my first win there. I got my first pull there. This year we finished second, so St. Pete's always been a really special place for me. When they told me that I was coming to Tampa, you know, for the media day, they send drivers out all over the country. And they said, hey, you know, you're going to, to, to Tampa. And there was a few things that, that were really, like, that was great for me. Number one, I love coming here because I love St. Pete. Number two, with United Rentals, one of my partners, my biggest partner on my car, mm -hmm. we do a, a deal called Turns for Troops. Every lap I complete throughout the season, we donate $50 a lap to Soldier Strong. Awesome. Soldier Strong, ultimately what they do is they provide exoskeletons to allow paralyzed vets to walk again, uh, to be able to get up, to be able to move around, uh, mobility training, physical therapy. But why that's cool is that the next VA hospital that needs an exoskeleton is Tampa. Really? So our results this weekend, in the, and if we can complete all of the laps, and United Rentals is donating for myself, and all of our team cars, so Takuma Sato and the 30 mm -hmm. and 64 car, which is Oriole Servia. So all of us, and if we can complete all the laps this weekend, then we'll raise almost 40000 in this month alone. And through that, if when we get to our goal of 150000 which we will hit this year, we will be able to buy an exoskeleton for Tampa, which would be pretty cool. That's very cool. We are glad you're here. Glad that uh, yeah. you got the Tampa card when it came to the media tour that you're doing now. One thing that we are lucky, though, with the media tour, we've had Al Lenser Jr. was just here. I've gotten to spend time with the Andrettis. We have a lot of drivers like yourself in. And one thing that stands out to me about IndyCar is it's such a family-oriented sport. And you, of course, coming from the racing family that you do, what is it about IndyCar that just lends itself to these legendary names like yourself? Well, I think racing as a whole is pretty is very family oriented um, you know I think yeah you look at the Andretti's uh, three generations plus other family members throughout that have mm -hmm. raced the Unser's all of the Unser's race the mm -hmm. Foyt's all of the Foyt's race and for us you know I really started my grandfather as kind of a hobby uh, then my, my dad and then and then myself but you know why is it if you've been to the Grand Prix in St. Pete you know why you know it's just a fun atmosphere kids love it adults love it everybody can enjoy it and the same thrills that the families that go and attend get is the same that we get. You know, we love going to eat on, on you know, the weekends together or cook out at the motorhome or do whatever it may be. Um, that's what provides this sort of family atmosphere in our sport. And ultimately, when you fall in love with those experiences, you just want to continue to keep going back and live them yourself. And so, uh, you know, I've been fortunate that it's become my career. Uh, my wife, Courtney, is, is in drag racing, so her family's got the exact same story. And so uh, it's obviously a huge part of our lives. Uh, you, you made my segue even easier to my next question. And Courtney's actually come in getting ready for the Gator Nationals up that are in Gainesville. And so you see that as well. So yep. how's she doing? Courtney's doing really well this year. 
she's pretty much dominated the year and the funny car side for NHRA. So I'm definitely proud of her for everything. Her team's, they're on a roll. So it's been awesome. Good stuff. Well, again, thank you so much for coming yeah, in of today. Yeah. Best of luck. The Super Bowl of sports. Again, it all takes place right here on ABC, the Indy 500, Sunday, May 27th. Noon free race, of course, begins at 11. Again, that's right here. But first, I can't let you leave without an OH. I.O. Good stuff.